When we talk about investment properties and home loan reduction, one thing we sometimes forget about is the rental yield. In one of the other videos, I spoke about uh, dual occupancies and how they're cash flow positive. But let's talk in a general sense. And different markets have different rental yields. And that's generally driven by the price point of the market and then the rental demand that they can get for that price point. So New South Wales, for example, the rental yields might hover around 2 2.5%. South Australia, which is a capital city, but smaller, generally averages around that 45 to 5% rental yield. And you can get that also in, in rural locations as well. So if I use an example of a $300,000 property in South Australia, getting us a nice higher rental yield around 5%, that equates to rent of $280 a week. Now, for that $280 a week, what we're going to find is this property is going to be pretty close to cash flow neutral and not really costing you much money at all. But if we go through the timeline and we go forward 10 years, we worked out that this $300,000 property is going to cost us $423,000. The rent that we're going to now be collecting on that property in 10 years' time is $406 a week. Now, interest rates might vary slightly in that time frame. We do go through an actual course of the business cycle, but let's say we've gone through the whole 10-year cycle and the interest rates are back at where they are now. Well, then this property has become significantly cash flow positive just through the natural attrition of the property going down in their home loan and also the rents going up, which helps you pay off your home loan faster and also build more wealth.